Oh, hey guys, it's me, Ethan G, and I just got done watching If. Now, you're probably wondering, Ethan, you watched If? Like, that that's the most randomest movie I think I've ever heard. It's called If. Literally just If. Literally just two letters. If. Trust me. It may look like the film is just, oh, you know, it's a fun kids movie. It's, it's, it's a fun adventure kids comedy movie. No. It is far more than that. Like, a lot more than that. Like, I'm not even joking, guys. I watched If yesterday, and this this film is just so good at its core. Like, it's far better than I expected. Like, you know, like I said, I thought it was just going to be like a fun adventure comedy kids movie. Never mind! It was actually far more than that. The, 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 um, there was emotional scenes in this that were very good. The acting was great. You know, just the story. So the story involves this girl that's moving into, I think, a new house and with her gran. And, you know, she's she's older. She doesn't think she's a kid. She thinks, you know, she's too, she's too grown up for all these drawings and paintings and all that, you know. And, um, her mother passed away and she's worried about her father and her father's supposed to be funny and the girl had an imaginary friend of his, of her own. And there's, there's Ryan Reynolds on the top floor trying to look after all these ifs, like imaginary friends and yeah, they have the secret base where they look after them all and... They've all been pretty much, pretty much abandoned from, from their kids because they've been older. They've forgotten about them, and they try to let them find new ones. But then, I don't want to spoil it. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much how it goes. But yeah, it's such a fun movie. But like, I think the adults will like it more than kids to be honest like the films are you but i think adults will like it a lot more mainly because it focuses on like childhood focuses on you know just really really it has a really really good story and you know the casting is perfect by the way with ryan reynolds steve carell it's it's absolutely mwah, chef's kiss it's, this is like bro the the like, even the characters, like the CGI hybrid characters that are supposed to be ifs, they're imaginative and creative. And that's the whole point, to make them creative and imaginative. And they are. So, what's his name? John Krasinski or something like that? Good job, bro, with this film. This film is absolutely phenomenal. Um, because, you know, some people just think it's a fun kids movie, but, like, it's not. Go give it a chance. Go watch it, man. It is so good. I try to not cry, but when it came to this one scene, I'm like, oh, I'm eliminated. It's over. It's over for me. It's over. I I'm going to get upset, and I did. I got upset. But literally, this film is amazing. Like, the characters are great. Acting's great. You know, I don't really know what to say. It it's funny. You know, it it's really good. The jokes land perfectly. The script is good. Just... Yeah, it, it's it's a good, it's a really, 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 really perfect movie. And this is by far the best movie I've seen this year so far. For what I've seen, in my opinion. I've only watched Kung Fu Panda 4, Ghostbusters 4, If, and The Fall Guy. Uh, but th this just tops it for me, from The Fall Guy being 9 out of 10. But If, 10 out of 10. Perfect 10 out of 10. Th this film was just so good. Go watch it! By the way, link in description on my letterbox. My review is on letterbox or if, so make sure you check that out as well and follow my letterbox, TikTok, and and my second channel as well. All in, descri all in description if you're enjoying this channel. Also, subscribe to this channel as well, by the way. Because, you know, I am so good at my channel. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, like and subscribe, guys. Turn on notifications, and I will see you all later. Alright? Later. Goodbye!